Hey guys, Sid here. I uh, got some mail to show you and a few uh, thrift store pickups. I actually got two TTMs in, in one day, which is kind of odd. Uh, this is all mail from last week. Uh, today is what is it, the 13th, July 13th. Uh, get right into it. First TTM is coming from uh, the Average Joe's Entertainment out of Nashville, Tennessee. It's a nice 8x10 size envelope here. So we'll see what we got. Alright, so very cool. Nice uh, 8x10 color photo here of uh, up and coming country singer Sarah Ross. Signed it real nice and silver right there. Beautiful photo. It is very, very awesome. So very cool. Super happy to add that to the collection. And next up, uh, coming from who knows where, uh, it does have a global USA Forever stamp right there. Open this one up. And then we have another country singer. Nice, again, nice 8x10 uh, color photo here. This is Kelsey Ballerini. Sign it right there in black Sharpie. Very cool. Happy to get those in. Very nice to get some TTMs in after I haven't been getting a whole lot in this this year. All right, and next up, this is going to be a uh, Facebook package here, uh, Facebook trade. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Everybody had a good weekend. Alright, let's see. I gotta open this up here. There we go. So what we have here is a uh, little collection of Shred comic books. This is the first issue here. The first issue was magazine sized. Uh, and then for some reason they decided to uh, shrink it down to actual regular comic book size. But I remember buying this back uh, was the late 80s, early 90s, March 1989. I remember buying this off the stands in 1989. I think it was at either a 7-Eleven or some uh, independent gas station. And uh, this company, CFW, they also did Tales of the Ninja Warriors, Tales of the Kung Fu Warriors, and uh, Robo Warriors. I'm really a big fan of this company. Uh, really like uh, what they produced it's all black and white comic book stuff but super awesome Just some fun stuff there. So that's the first issue. There's second issue. I think this is the first seven. Let's see. Yep. Here's number three. It's got a little crease there. Uh, number four. Now I've only, I think I've only read the first three back in the day. Well, no, I had an, I had number six. 
There's number four. Number five, actually number five looks familiar too. Uh, number six and number seven. So very cool. Happy to have those. All right, next up, you guys remember, I think it was the last video, I went to a thrift store that had a uh, some boxes of mainly junk baseball cards uh, from the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, uh, it was $20 a box or $0.10 cents a card. You remember, I think I got, what was it, six cards or something like that that I showed you guys. Uh, well, I went back there this past Saturday with my daughter, and I actually dug through all the cards. I went through every single card because the first time I was there, I just basically kind of leaf through them real quick. And I went through every card this time and uh, paid $7 and got this stack of cards. Uh, we got a Howard Johnson, 83 Donruss, Rod Carew, 82 Donruss, and a Brett Butler, 82 Donruss. The reason why I picked those up, uh, I thought they might be worth something. But they're not. But I have them. Uh, then I got these 91 Frank Thomases. For some reason, I was thinking they were 1990 Frank Thomases. I thought this was his rookie. I was not thinking at all. So I got one, two, three, four. I got four of those. And obviously, they're not his rookie. So there's that. But now on to the good stuff. Uh, we got an 89 Upper Deck Sheffield rookie. Uh, then we got one. Two, I've got two more of these in there, but I've got two Chipper Jones rookies. And we got this Frank Thomas Diamond Kings. And here's the other two Chipper Jones rookies. So four Chipper Jones rookies. Very cool. Uh, I got one 89 Upper Deck Deion Sanders rookie. There's another one in here. Uh, 1990 Fleer Juan Gonzalez rookie. We got a 89 Upper Deck, no, 1990 Upper Deck, Nolan Ryan, 91 Jeff Bagwell, rookie, 89 Fleer, sorry guys, there's a fly flying around my head here, 89 Fleer, Randy Johnson, rookie, uh, This, this is not a, oh, my eyes, I can't see, so this should be a 1990, Randy Johnson, that's not his rookie then, but I got that, another uh, Randy Johnson rookie here, and then we got a bunch of these Nolan Ryan baseball heroes, I got that one, that one, and I got two of those. That one, and then two of those, and this one here. So I got all those Nolan Ryan baseball heroes. Then I got some Reggie Jackson baseball heroes. That one, that one, that one, and that one. And then some Hank Aaron baseball heroes. Cool. We got Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. There's some more Nolan Ryan baseball heroes. This is cool. This is the Hank Aaron uh, hologram from was it 1990, I think, 91 Upper Deck. So that's cool. Some more Nolan Ryan cards. Jackson, Tony Gwynn, then we got a couple Sammy Sosa rookies from 89 Upper Deck, I'm sorry, 1990 Upper Deck, and then a 1990 Fleer Sammy Sosa rookie, Gary Sheffield rookie, Bo Jackson, 
Bill Jackson. And they actually had some a little bit of basketball in there. And I found some Michael Jordans. Yeah, it's cool. Michael versus Magic. Yeah, we got Magic Johnson here. Gary Payton rookie. Another Magic Johnson. Derek Coleman rookie. Here's that other 89 upper deck Deion Sanders rookie. And I PC Tim Raines, so I picked up a couple of his that I didn't have. Another Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson. Also PC Bo Jackson, so those are keepers. A couple of football here. Troy Aikman. Barry Sanders. And Joe Montana. Another Bo Jackson. And a Tim Raines. So, pretty cool. I'm actually going to go back again here very soon and because there's still a bunch of stuff that I left behind that I should have went ahead and got so you'll probably be seeing more baseball cards in the future all right uh, another thrift store I went to I picked up these this is the witch who came from the sea on subversive DVD uh, this is from 1976 I believe it's a very rare film um, hard to find it was only released on uh, Big Box Unicorn Video uh, back in the day. I'm trying to find the date the film came out, but I'm not seeing it. 1976, yeah. Watched it last night, was not really happy with it, not impressed at all. I thought it was crap, but it's a great looking cover here. And it's a little bit rare on DVD, and it's really rare on video cassette. So I paid two dollars for that and two dollars for this. This is Death Trap. This is uh, a Canadian version, I'm guessing, because it says manufactured in Can Canada, but it's a Canadian version of the 1976 film Eaten Alive. Never seen this before, uh, and it's not on eBay right now too. So. I'm guessing this is kind of a rare release here, uh, starring Robert England, Neville Brand, and Mel Ferrer, and Marilyn Burns, directed by Toby Hooper, who of course did Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so that's a very cool find, and then I got uh, Monster Mash, uh, VHS, uh, here in the big uh, clamshell, white clamshell box. So that should be a fun one to check out. Paid a dollar for that. And lastly, another thrift store. It's half off day. Every Saturday is half off day. So I picked up this book. I think this book was 50 cents. This is Look In TV Annual. Uh, this is a British publication. published uh, in London. I don't see a year though. It's definitely 1980s though. You got Tracy Ullman. You got some comics in here. Some games. Torval and Dean figure skaters. Some more comics. More games. There's uh, Disney stuff. There's Boy George. I'm guessing 84 or 85. Maybe a little bit later. Harrison Ford. There's Mr. T from A Team. Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. 1984. So I was right. So that's pretty cool. And then I got this DVD. Like I said, it was half off day, so I did not pay two dollars. I paid a buck. This is Global Fright Cinema. Five of Japan's best horror directors race to reach the outer limits of fear. Dark Tales of Japan. And you got your list of uh, directors down there. So it's a 
series of five short films. I've never seen anything like this before, so I figured I had to pick it up. So there's that, and that's everything, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it all, and I uh, will talk to you all later. We'll see you.